Welcome to DSI Mobile eLogs Driver Training 101. In this video, we will teach you the basics. How to log in, how to connect to the vehicle, how to change your status, review and approve logs, and finally, setting your application to inspection mode. Let's start by locating our DSI Mobile app and launching it by tapping our icon. Navigate to the login screen by tapping login. Now enter your username and password. If you don't have a username, please contact your manager. Once you have entered your credentials, you can choose to check the Remember Me checkbox to expedite future logins. Now tap Login. This is the mobile app home screen. On the top left, you should see your name and current duty status. The connection status bar indicator is very important. At all times when operating a vehicle, this engine status bar should never be red. Let's begin by connecting to your vehicle and turn this connection indicator green. Tap on connect device. Our system will begin to search for vehicles equipped with our engine readers that are within range. Your vehicle number should populate on the screen. You may also validate your engine reader by comparing the last four digits of the device serial number on the screen and the last four digits on the device installed in your vehicle. If your device is not displaying on the screen, you may need to ensure it is physically connected or turn on your ignition. Once you have identified your vehicle, tap on it on the screen to highlight it and then click connect. You will notice that the connection to engine indicator is now green. When operating a vehicle, this indicator should always be green. Now let's change our duty status. To change your duty status, Tap on the duty status indicator. Tap on the status drop down and select your desired status. If you're connected to your vehicle, your CMV number should auto fill along with your odometer. If you're hauling a trailer, you may enter the trailer number as well. City and state will also auto populate. With each status change, you will have the ability to enter a note. Once completed, click OK. Your status indicator should now reflect the selected status. Quick tip, we have an auto status change feature between on duty and driving. This is how it works. If you are in on duty status and you begin to drive away, our system will detect it and automatically switch to driving. Once you have arrived to your destination and your vehicle has not moved for more than five consecutive minutes, our system will automatically switch you to on duty. Let's jump into reviewing and certifying our logs. Tap on the chart. This is a shortcut to your logbook. Here you will be able to review today's logs plus the past seven days. Tap on any of the tabs above to display your logs for that day. Each day will have a chart and log details below to review. Certifying your log is very important and it is good practice to certify your logs daily. Green tabs indicate that you have certified your logs, and gray tabs indicate that they require your certification. Tap on any uncertified log and press Needs Approval. You will be prompted with a certification question. Simply check the box, then click Agree. It's that simple. To finalize this training video, I will show you how to set your logbook to inspection mode for the DLT inspection. Tap on the menu button above and select inspection mode. At this point, you will hand over your mobile device to the officer along with your inspection card that we provided to you. The inspection card will guide the officer through the application. At the end of each day, don't forget to go off duty and log out. To log out, simply click on our DSI icon and click log out. For more training videos, please visit support.dispatchingsolutions.com. Here you will find more training videos and documentations on our solutions. Thank you very much for watching.